Thank you. Good evening. Asbestos and the use of it, the clearing of uh, urban areas and the removal of this harmful material, that's what we're talking about today. So thank you very much for this. Previous speakers have highlighted the risks and the statistical incidence of disease. Italian laws, which were a little long in the tooth, but they are there now to protect the health of citizens. But what we're saying now is basically we need to go for a very laudable goal but effort is needed to get there. There are many obstacles between the intention of the legislator and the correct application of the rules. I can give you an example of this before I came here to Brussels. In Palermo, my city. A few days ago, following the inauguration of a of a park, um, there was an, uh, an, an asbestos factory opened. But this, this was quite shocking. I would like to know how it's possible that the mayor and the public institutions, public bodies, competent offices have actually inaugurated this park with lots of children present, a park where there is asbestos. Now, this scandal came to light not because the competent authorities discovered this, but because a journalist and a very famous TV program broke the omerta, that was spanning all the public institutions, which should have been making sure that this um, waste site was well protected. So after this scandal emerged, in only a space of 24 hours, public workers without any gloves, any filters, any masks, you know, obviously they're greatly exposed. They quickly clean the park. I've got a question, it's a, it's a consideration as well, I think. I would just like to put this to you, the experts. What's the point in making laws on asbestos? If even when the law is broken, the bodies that are called on to apply these rules don't apply them. In fact, they actively infringe them. Second question, what are these sanctions provided for on those who continue to flout the law? Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, we'll give you the answers a little later. We're going to collect a few questions. Mr. Daggett, I might uh, want to feel that one. Oh, I've got a question for, it's, it's for Mrs. Borgi as well. Nice, oh, how generous of you, yes. Okay, let, let's say that uh, women are more to your liking.